Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to learn about input dialog in detail. Input dialog displays a dialog box to the user that prompts with a title, label, and an input field. If you see on my screen, this is how it will looks like input dialog. If you see, the topmost is called title, and the enter name is nothing but a label. And if you see, the user or the customer is going to provide some input over here in this input field, and then he will click on OK. And this is exactly how it will looks like. In this session, what I'm going to do, I'm going to explain you how to use this input for the, you know, to give the values, to enter the values for the robot. And also the same input dialog will be used as a password so that, you know, whenever you are using a password so that, you know, all the things will not be, uh, all the characters, whatever you are entering will not be appear in the format which you are typing. And then the same input dialog can be used as a radio button as well as the combo box. All these things I will explain you in this session. Please be patient. Let's go ahead and let's try it. Let me switch to UiPath Studio. I have created one more process with the name of working with input dialog. And now we are in the main .xaml file. Now what we are going to do, we are going to activities. And then I'm typing input dialog. If you see, input dialog will comes under the system dialog and input dialog. Or there you can find it. Before that, we need to add the sequence. As a first step, that we need the container in our you know panel, right? So first of all, we need to get the sequence, and then let me drag and drop the sequence on my panel. Now, if you want to give some name to this panel. Or, or to this container, you can give some name, or else you know, we can just use the sequence over here. And then I'm going to input, uh, you know, drag and drop the input dialog. So I'm typing input dialog in my activities, and then let me drag and drop the activities on my drop activity. Now you can see the input dialog. If you want to give some name for the input dialog, you can go ahead and you can give it. Now by using this input dialog, I just want to provide the details of the user. Okay, the title is I'm just giving in the double quotes or inverted commas. Please provide the details. I'm just giving, please provide the details. Okay, this is in the string format I'm giving. And the, you know, label we have to give, these are the mandatory things. I'm just giving enter user name. Okay. And if you see the properties over here of the input dialog on, on your right hand side, the display name is input dialog of this one. Okay, if you want to change it again, you can change it. If you see the label, I have not clicked enter. Now if you click enter, the label, the label you have given as enter username. And the title, please provide the details. And output I will tell you later. Now what I'm going to do, I have drag and drop my input dialog activity on my screen, right? Let me go ahead, let me save it. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to debug it or I'm going to run the robot which I have been created. Now you can see working with input dialog execution started. And you can see the, you know, dialog box over here. You can see over here, as I said, this is the title, please provide the details and enter username. And whatever you want to give it over here, I'm just giving my name, enter username as Amir, and then I'm going to click on OK. So this robot has been executed successfully. And now, whenever you have given the value in the input field, right? So where it will store, where it has to store, you can see over here, the result. The result, it will store the values over there in the result. Okay, now let me expand it. You can see expression editor result over here now i want to store somewhere this value how can i go ahead i will click on control k to create a variable i'm going to set it the variable over here set variable i'm just giving user name so this is the variable right so that i'm just using prefix var underscore username and then i'm going to click on enter so it will create a variable in the variables panel and then I'm going to click on OK. 
now if you see let me go to the variables and you can see there is a where underscore username if the variable has been created and then the values whatever the values has been entered in the input field will store in the variable now how can I know that the values has been stored or not let me go to activities again let me give message box and let me drag and drop this message box on my activity panel and then what I'm going to do, what are the values that have been, you know, values have been stored, I'm going to display in the message box. So now if you see where username or username is there, let me go ahead, let me select it. I'm just giving this details as my name is, I'm going to concatenate with username. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to save it. Let me run again. Working with input dialog execution started. Now you can see the dialog box prompted and then I'm going to give the username. So I'm just giving username Amir and then I'm going to click on OK. Now it will display message box, my name is Amir. So that the variable has been stored, whatever the value I have given in the input field that we're displaying over here. Okay. Now let me show you some of the properties over here of the input dialog. If you see the properties over here, I'm having title, label, output, is password, and you can see all these things, options. These are all the things we are having the properties for the input dialog. I will explain you one by one once again. So title is used to display, you know, the uh, title of the input dialog and the label is used to give the name of the label for the form field and then there are the options I will explain you about the options right now and then is password specify the input value should be treated as a password if you're having any password if you're going to give it so that you know it will be treated as a password on the output you can see where the results uh, the values inserted values by the user it will be stores in the uh, you know in the result and then where the result has been given then it will be stored over there now I am going to drag and drop one more you know input dialog over here so that I am going to explain you about the password so input dialog let me drag and drop this input dialog below the input dialog so over here I'm just giving the same values I'm going to provide okay what are the title I have given the same title I'm going to give it over here Okay, now the label is that I'm just enter password. Okay, now if you want to show that as a password, you're going to show it, selecting over here is password. I'm going to selecting it. Now, I'm, I'm not storing somewhere this result. So to store the result, what I'm going to do, I'm going to store in the variable that is var underscore password and then I'm clicking on enter uh, and after that clicking on OK. Now I have given my name is so and so thing comma my password is so now again I have to concatenate with password so I'm connecting where password. Now let me show you by executing this robot let me go ahead let me run it now if you see working input dialog execution started first of all it is asking to enter the username I'm just giving I'm just changing username as Amir Basha and then the password you can see over here I'm typing something over here I will just give the same thing Amir over here and then if you see what are the password I have given okay that has been you know whenever you have selected show password then it is going to be displaying the password if I'm not unchecked this you know checkbox over here it is showing or it is showing in dots format for the password format okay now I'm going to click on okay now if you see my name is Amir Basha my password is so and so thing okay now I hope you understand how to create you know input dialog and how to set the password right now I will show you one more thing how to change the input dialog as a radio button Okay, fine, suppose if you're having genders like male, female, at that time, what are the things that you're going to, how you're going to use this input dialog over here as a ratio button. 
Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm just selecting one more input dialog over here. Let me drag and drop this input dialog over here. And the same title I'm going to put it, please provide the details. Okay, now select gender. Please don't forget to use inverted commas or double, double quotes. And then I'm going to click on enter. Now, if you see over here, I'm having options over here. You can see an array of options to choose from. If set to contains one, only one element, a text box appears to write the text. If set contains two or three elements, then it will be works as a radio button. If it is more than three, then it will works as a combo box. This field supports only string array. Okay, if you're having only one value there, if you want to choose any one element, then it will come as a text box. If you're going to uh, you know, contain two or three elements, then it will be works as a radio button. If it is more than three elements, it will work as a combo. How we are going to give the values over here in this one. So when you select, you know, the options on the three dots over here, expression and interval will come and the options you have to give it. Now we have to start with the flower brackets and then use double quotes over here. And then I'm going to give the details as one dot male. Another one I'm going to give by comma separated like, you know, comma, again, double quotes, two dot, that is, you know, for two, option two that I'm giving as female. And then I'm going to click on OK. Now, let me show you that one. Now I have given, you know, the options only two elements over here, so that it, have, it has to work as a radio button, right? Let me go ahead, let me run it. So there is a validation, OK. Now, if you see the error double quotes two times has been given, that's the reason. Let me go back. Let me save it once again. Let me run it. Now you can see there is no errors. Enter username. I'm just giving Amir. And then I'm going to click on OK. Enter password, something I'm giving one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you can see over here, select gender. This is how it will looks like whenever you are giving, you know, two elements in the options. And then I'm going to select anything, just select gender male, okay. And then you can see my name is Amir and my password is so and so thing. Because of, we have not given any gender in the result and then we are not going to display. Let me, let's do that one also. Let me go back my, you know, input dialog. And over here you can see the result. Let me go to result, same thing, control K where underscore gender and then I'm going to click on enter and then I'm going to select OK. So now whatever the gender is coming over here, I'm going to save it in the input dialog. I'm going to display in the message box, right? So now again what I'm going to do, concatenating and then with my uh, gender, I'm just simply telling gender plus what is the output var gender and then I'm going to save it let me run once again now if you see again it is asking uh, see these are the multiple times we are doing please don't get hesitate to ask me any questions and also don't get bored because of you know this is the repetitive process we are doing to make it to uh, understand and also, you know, it is very helpful to you also in the same session. Okay, if you see one dialog input dialog having, you know, input field, radio button, combo box, all these things, password, all these things I'm explaining in one session, you don't want to go anywhere, you know, how to use the input dialog, radio buttons, combo box, all these things. Okay, now enter username, I'm going to given password, I'm just giving some values. And then going ahead, I'm selecting the gender. And now if you see, my name is Amir, my password is 1245 gender one dot male. That we you know I have given the value as one dot male. That's why it is coming as one dot male. Okay. Now I hope you understand how to use the input dialog, uh, you know, as a radio button. Now I will show you the same thing. One more thing, how to use the input field as a combo box. Okay. Now let me go to mains again. Let me drag one more no, input dialog over here. I'm going to drag and drop over here. And then what I'm going to do, I'm using the same titles over here. 
this is the one i'm selecting uh, the city okay please enter please select city so that select city and then i'm going to click click on okay now what i'm going to do i'm just going over options once again if you are giving more than three elements so that what will happen it will be works as a combo box how we can see that now without giving uh, like you know one dot two dot i'm just selecting like first one hyderabad comma again double quotes bangalore comma delhi i'm giving more than three elements right chennai calcutta okay these are all the five values that I have given right now let me go ahead let me click on okay now let me save once again and let me go ahead let me run this so right now i'm not storing the cities over here anything uh, any city name any city which have been selected i'm not giving over there i'm not storing anywhere in the result okay in variables i'm just going ahead and giving the values over here and you can see this is the radio button same input L. now you can see over here what are the values that i have given in the options it is more than three values whenever you have given two values two or three it will work as a radio button if you're giving more than uh, three elements then it will work as a combo box same input dialog working as multiple things now i am selecting my city select city and then I'm going to click on OK. Now, at the final that I'm going to display message, my name is so-and-so, my password is so-and-so, the gender that has been selected. OK. Now, I hope you understand how to use the input dialog for the entering the input values. And also, we have seen how to use, you know, input field as a password for the password purpose. And also, the same input dialog using for the radio button as well as the combo box. I hope you understand the input dialog very clearly in this session. Thank you for watching UiPath tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. Your feedback and appreciation are very valuable to us. Stay tuned. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a nice day.